Hi, welcome back to Brett's uh, prop building part two of the Wonder Woman costume. Uh, as we spoke yesterday, uh, on the last video we were making the cast and we were doing a template just to sort of get the, the basque correct. Uh, this is the cast from yesterday, it's now dry, it's quite solid. Um, so this is what we're going to do. Now what we need to make is the templates. So we need to get some templates and I've drawn some templates out here, as you can see. And what we're going to do, these have got to be mirror imaged, these templates, just like this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut those out. I'll come back to you after that, but once I've cut all them out, and then we're going to stick them onto the uh, plaster cast and position them, get them about right. And then once I've done that, I'm going to draw around the plaster cast so I know exactly where they are again. And then I'm going to number them. Uh, and we'll come back to that very shortly. Right, let's uh, get drawing on this plaster cast. I've almost almost completed it now. So I'm just, just finishing off the last, last bits on here. That's it. Let's just do that bit there. A bit. And that's pretty much so getting all the lines around on there. So that's pretty much going to be like that. So that should be something like that. So you're going to get the two pictures together. Right now, once I've done all this, and I've just drawn all this on here now, what I'm going to do is uh, so I used to use my template initially, so uh, put that back down. So this, that was my template when I made out all my, my joints. So there's, there's my piece like that. And what I did was, is I, I originally kind of laid that on, if I can just sort of show you. So that kind of sort of just lays on onto the body. And I drew around that with light pencil, then a little bit of heavy, uh, uh, one of the Sharpies, a darker Sharpie, and just gone over the top of that. So, um, so I'm, I'm kind of happy with that. So what I'm now going to do is I'm going to do another transfer of that. And I'm going to do that with clear grease proof paper. And um, I'm going to, I'm basically going to, then going to draw that onto the craft foam that we were looking at yesterday. When I was showing you the other piece. Which is this uh, two mil craft foam. So I will then copy that and then that will be stuck on, on top of that. Don't forget of course, don't forget to uh, leave a space in between each each one so that you get like the same sort of the image like that so you get the space in between it. at the moment i've just done the line so i'm going to do one a little bit thinner than the other each time i cut it out i should cut it out a little bit thinner and then that hopefully will fit on there and we'll come back to you after i've done that okay okay so if we continue what i'm going to do now is i'm going to i've draw, drawn out on this bit of craft foam here so uh, just to give you an idea of what we're doing. Uh, so I've taken this template here and I'm going to I'm going to draw it here onto this piece of uh and then, and then I'm gonna cut that cut that out and then we're gonna we'll, we'll stick it on and see what it's like. So I'm just gonna cut that piece out just now and, and that'll be that there. Okay. Take a bit of tear it off there, put that over there. Right, okay, so what we've got now is we're gonna we're gonna do it this way. So I've now got a bit of craft foam. I've cut a few pieces out now. So what we'll do is we'll do those and just for for the moment we'll temporarily stick these on just to uh show you roughly what we're going to do and then we're going to duplicate this and we're going to replicate put it on the opposite side so it's so it's exactly the same either side so if we go back to where we was originally so there's the triangular piece that i've just cut out so that's going to be that is going to go down there so if you can see from that angle you can just see that's going to go like that this is the uh second piece that i've cut out so that that will go in like that remember like what i said just leave a very small gap in between the two there we got another piece this is going to go up by the sternum area so that will sort of go in there obviously you can trim this as you go along just but i'm just for the purpose of the video i'm just briefly showing you how it would go and there's another piece there that i've cut out 
So we're going to stick that bit on. Remember, just to leave a little gap. You can just position them all on first, just to get them sort of kind of get them as close as you can to how you feel comfortable and 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 you're happy with it. You know, you know. So there you go. There's 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 one. There's two. There's three. There's four. And they've all got like a little slight gap. I don't know if you can see that, just a slight gap between them. Um, they're just to say, they're just temporary stuff on. So what I'll do is, is I'll do the whole complete thing, stick them all on properly, um, and then we'll come back to you on another video, and we'll show you what it looks like when it's all completed. Lovely. Bye.